Hi everybody, it's me Maddie, and welcome back to another vlog. I haven't, I didn't do one of these for November, but I thought I would do one for April because it might keep me on track. What are we doing? We are outlining. I have, I'm physically outlining it today too, which like could regret. Anyway, yes, welcome to an outlining vlog. I don't know how interesting it's going to be like, but yeah, so this is, it's currently the 8th of March, so like I am a little bit behind with outlining, but also I've technically been outlining this since December. I just haven't put any effort into it, and I've outlined the first act. So, like, they kind of, like, even out. Anyway, hi. So, yes. I'm outlining my first middle grade that I want to write, because if you don't know, I adore middle grade books, and so this is actually my middle grade. It's, it's that's, the, that's the main character's name. I tried to draw, like, a fire spirit. I don't know what it... I tried to draw a flame and it didn't turn out good. So then I tried to make a fire spirit and it, it, it turned out like I, a drawing that I draw. Anyway, so yes, this is the notebook. I've used like that much paper to outline it. I've outlined like the uh, magic powers and like the magic system overall. The characters. I've outlined um, some of the characters for the other books in the series. And so there's that. And I'm now outlining the book, which I'm just doing the 15 plot points. I haven't actually started chapter outlines yet, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, welcome to an outline. I picked orange folder because our main character has fire magic. So anyway, I'm going with the theme. Next book will be blue because water. Anyway, yeah, so welcome to the vlog. It's gonna be a mess. Hopefully I'll at least look better in some other clips. I don't know. I haven't showered today yet. Don't, like, don't come at me. I haven't showered yet. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to continue my Spanish test. I just popped on here to say hello and welcome you to the vlog. And I'll see you guys all later. Yeah, later. Okay, so it is currently the 10th of March and it is 8.52 at night. I should be reading right now. I usually read. I start reading at 8.30 and read till 9. But, like, I am so so in the zone for this story like I am just having such a good time listening to pop music listening to pop music and just outlining I'm having such a fun time and I am getting hyped to write this story well the overall series I'm getting hyped for certain things that are happening like stuff is coming together What's happening right now is called plotting. Like, what the heck? I, I, what did you... What you picked on a video about outlining, but did you think I was actually going to plot a story? What? No, you didn't. Probably you did. But, like, this is how my brain works. Like, some of this stuff... This is... This is literally what happens when you plot a book. I don't know why I'm acting like, oh my god, I'm like all high and mighty, like nobody's ever done this before. People do this before medicine. Um, but I'm having a great time. I've outlined, oh, oh my god, I've only outlined one, two, three, four points today. I thought I had outlined so many more, I'm telling you. Anyway, I'm at the bad guy's close-in. And honestly, I think I kind of, like, messed up what I'm supposed to be doing here. Because uh, I have the I have plot 7 going into plot 9, and it's going into plot 10. There's just so much I want to, like, happen in the story. And I'm trying to put them, like, in order of how I want things to happen. But, like, I'm not, like, putting them in the correct plot points, I don't think. I, it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't really matter. Um, I haven't even introduced the freaking villain. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't got there yet. Uh, I'm actually about to get there. Bad guys close in. We're finally going to introduce the, the villain of this story. Um, but I got, to I got to start outlining like the bully of the story. It's a middle grade. So, of course. But I got to start outlining them and like just creating that character. And I am having so much fun. Like, that one character has given me so many ideas for the overall series than plotting the first eight points of the story have. I don't know why, but I actually, I love her. I do love this character, which is weird. Like, I love my main character, Marty. I love the male guy character. I love the girl character, but the bully... 
I don't know. Is it going to be her character art? Is it her parents? Her parents are so unimportant to the story. Or they're definitely unimportant in this first book. Um, I don't know. But, like, her parents, maybe that's why I love this character. I don't know. But I love her. And I'm having a fun time. So, I know that this is just a 15 bare basic. You're just supposed to put the bare basics, not write freaking paragraphs right? I know that. I know that. But, like, I just can't get out of my head. I just can't get it out of my head. Like, acting like they're chapters. Like, I feel like I'm on chapter 10 and I got 15 and I'm like, where is this supposed to fit? Where? It's, it's gonna be fine, Madison. You just, like, they don't have to line up exactly. Like, you could put one major thing in Act 3, even though it doesn't have on the paper something major happens in Act 3, except the reveal. Like, I know it's not gonna happen in Act 3. Like, I know. But, like, it's only December and, Ber and it's Act 10, and Easter is when the Act 3 th happens. Which, that's... Four months? Oh my god, that's four months. Guys. Ah, this is like the book I'm writing that, like, I'm trying to, like, plot out and have a lot happen. Because it's, like, the first, like, book I would consider publishing, right? And it just hit me. I'm getting so stressed over nothing. Like, this is nothing because it's just literally, uh, it's just plot points. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Am I even making sense? Am I explaining my worries well enough? Because they're just plot points and I am so, so scared and stressed that this isn't going to work. How am I going to go four months in this story? Just like, am I just, like, how? How? I know one thing that happens in those four months, but what other things are going to happen in those four months? I'm stressed over nothing. That's the story of my life. I think that's like, that explains me so well, being stressed over nothing and then crying over nothing that's me there we go that is that is me the sport in this book is soccer and you can't even play soccer like they don't have soccer tryouts during the winter months or do they i haven't played soccer in so long but then i remember it's a private school madison if they want to have soccer in six feet of snow then guess what they can have it because it's a private school how to get rid of plot holes? Is it even a plot hole? I don't know. How do you get rid of a plot hole in this universe? It's a private school. And they can do whatever they want. <laughs> I think I'm going insane. Okay, so it is the 11th and I'm outlining headphones, hence that. Um, and I'm just working on my outline. That's literally what this vlog is. I just said, okay, whatever. Anyways, anyways. And I've been like sitting on something. Like, do I do this? Do I not do this? Like, when do I do this for the story? And I really was trying to figure out when I would put it in the story. And I decided that it's not gonna happen in the first book. Nor is it going to happen in the second book. Because, like, first of all, it can happen in the second book because there's going to be another factor in the second book that, like, completely cancels out how this my main character could do this one action. Um, so it's going to happen, like, in the third book. Yeah. Uh, and, like, I think I kind of, I, I kind of figured out how to tie it all together. No. Wait, what am I talking about? I was, I don't really know what I was talking about, so I apologize, uh, but I kind of, oh my god, my hair is a mess. Okay, so it is currently 11.08 on the 13th of March, it's a Saturday, I'm you want to know the, you want to know the seconds too, it's currently 35 seconds into the minute, so. Anyway, I'm on plot, I just finished plot 14, and I started working on plot 15, I think, I, yes, I started working on plot 15, I believe, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but the point is, I'm getting near the end, right, and I just had an idea for, like, the scene, 
because I'm trying to like make sure I don't have Marty lose control of her emotions in the first book and then just like lose control of her magic because I don't want that to happen in the first book because what are we going to build up to? So I had to write down this scene in my handwriting just... Handwriting looks so good right now. Anyway, so I was writing down this scene, and I was trying to figure out, because I was like, this specific character who pushes Marty to this point isn't introduced until the next school year. And so I was like, but this, but I have it currently outlined. The book's going to end before Easter even begins. So I don't really know what to do. I guess I'm going to reorganize around some scenes. Marty's birthday takes place in March. So that's something I need to figure out. Which, like, that's just, like, remo moving around a couple scenes and maybe have the Christmas break scenes that I was originally going to have become the Easter scenes. I think that could work. So I'm just going to, like, push the thing back by six months that's it all right so she goes to school in january what a bad time to start the school, new school am i right anyway so i'm working on this like scene i'm jotting down like what i want to happen while it's fresh in my mind this is something that i'm really really excited about because it introduces like an aspect this is, i'm not outlining the second book anyway but i'm really excited for like this aspect of what happens in this scene because it introduces a new part of magic that even this character does not know about and I am so excited for it because like I just I'm so freaking excited it just I don't know what it is about characters like losing control and like exploding stuff or losing control and just going on a murder spree I don't know what it is y'all but like it gets me it's like, yes, please, let's, like, kill people. Um, Marty's not going to kill anybody. I mean, I don't think she's going to. I I don't know. I know who's going to die <laughs> throughout this series. But, like, I don't think they're going to be at Marty's hand. I don't know. You never really know. I, I literally don't have a plan for the entire series except a few plot points. And by a few, I mean this one I'm writing and one death. <laughs> That is all I have down. Um, and then the introduction of two characters. So, like, I don't really have a whole series, like, outlined or plotted yet. So, I'm kind of scared to see, like, where this is going to go. And, like, how many books I'll have to make it to make sure everything fits in and it's not rushed. Uh, but w I'm getting ahead of myself. So, uh, yes, I'm going to finish this outline tonight. I should have finished it a long time ago, but I'm listening to music and I just... I'm sorry, I get distracted. Um, it's outlining. It's fun. I'm having a blast, but it's it's outlining. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I guess I'll pick back up when I finish my outline. All right, it is 11:30, and I finished the outline. Of course, the fin the final image, which is like the finale and everything put together, because like, <clears throat> who follows the beats? Apparently not me. Um, but it's like the shortest out of all of them because my hand hurts. <laughs> I did end up writing down this scene, um, or like what it's the scene supposed to be. Obviously I didn't write down the scene. Uh, and I am really like, I'm excited to write that. It is not like, I'm not there yet. I'm not there. So like, I can't write it. And I am excited to, I'm sorry, I just keep like flinging my camera down. I apologize. But like, I am excited to do the chapter by chapter outlines. Though, like, do I really need to do chapter by chapter outlines? Because so much of it is, like, it's in-depthly outlined already. Um, I would say no. But because I've changed the timeline to move back six months, I now say yes. I gotta do the chapter by chapter just to make sure, like, it stays fine and everything. Um, and, like, the fact that I moved in six months, like, messes up the original outline a lot. Um, I completely forgot that that would happen. Like, the birthday gift Marty was supposed to receive cannot be that gift because her birthday was supposed to take place at the end of the book. And now it's going to take place, like, in the middle of the book. I... Oh... 
anyway, so yes, I will have to do like a chapter by chapter outline and probably I'll have to move things around most definitely. Uh, but yeah, I finished the first part of the outline, which I'm very happy to have been finally have done. Uh, or I guess like the second part of the outline because this is like step two for me. And now we're moving on to step three, the third and final step before writing my least favorite part. Eee! Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna start the chapter by chapters tomorrow. So if I do that, I will see you all tomorrow. Hi everybody, it's the 23rd of March. I've gotten a haircut since the last time we talked. Uh, and today I am finally working on chapter by chapters. I, I have, I'm only on chapter two, nearly chapter three. That's why I'm here to talk to you guys about that. Uh, but yeah, yeah, chapter by chapter outlines, they've been slow going. They've been slow going. Yeah, not gonna lie, they have. Um, just like, right now I'm on chapter two and I'm struggling so much because I don't know, like, the word count for this chapter. I don't know if it's going to be a long chapter or a short chapter based on what I already have outlined. So I'm like, do I start chapter 3 or do I put what I'm, I was thinking about putting in chapter 3 at the end of chapter 2? Like, I don't know. And I know I can just, like, change the chapter based on the word count during writing. But then my outline will be thrown off and it's... I don't know, but yeah, so I don't really know the uh, length of this chapter, and so I don't really know what chapter to outline next. Do I continue chapter two, or do I do chapter three? I'm thinking I do chapter three, and then four is... All right, well, I guess we'll just outline chapter three. Hi everybody, it is now the 25th of March, and I think I'm gonna end this outlining vlog here. I am still outlining chapter three, but I am just like not in the mood to do anything tonight. I already tried to write something, like write words, and I only got like 400 down, and I'm just like done with it. And I just like, I'm gonna finish outlining this chapter, and then I'm done. I just don't want to, which is bad, because camp is coming up very, very soon, and I have yet to finish my outline. So, I'm either, I'm gonna have to hit this outline really, really, really hard when it comes time, because I need to finish it. I need to at least get more than three chapters outlined, uh, so, yeah. Anyway, thanks for so much for watching the video. I'm sorry if it wasn't super entertaining. I'm just, like, not in the mood to do anything related to stories right now at the moment. I think I'll go on Pinterest and scroll through that and make, like, aesthetics for characters. So, like, that's related to writing. It's not going to help me when the time comes to actually write the words. But that's besides the point. Anyway, like I said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos on this channel usually every single Monday. And so hopefully I'll see y'all next Monday and I plan on doing weekly vlogs for camp uh, April. So stick around for that.